a slow exhale as you unfurl your way back to your seat. Gather your knees and your hands, bring them forward, let your feet go wide. Baddha Konasana, this cobbler pose, this shape we make with our feet. Fingers tip the earth, lift your heart, lift your knees a little bit, reach your arms up. And exhale one more time, fold forward. You might not reach as far with your legs in this shape as you did cross-legged. <sighs> that full dissolving force. Exhale, mm, end of the out breath. Unfurling back up, gathering, I'll swivel around, knees into your hands as you start to reverse down to earth. Low belly leads the way, floating ribs follow. Then the heart, bring your limbs with you. Take your arms wide. See if you can find your Habaya Mudra. First finger in, thumb to ring, and middle little finger out, arms out to the side. So we can make an offering even while in this shape. Let your knees start to circle. First one way, reaching them away from you, coming back to midline. Notice what happens to your low back. As you draw your knees in, you exhale your back to the earth. Inhale your knees a little away, so that's fullness, and then circle again, keeping the fullness of the low back to earth. Toes spread wide. The mudra reminds us to find softness, to find ease. Keep going with your legs, maybe making the circle a little larger. <sighs> exhaling, inhaling, and then go the opposite direction. Noting which way you went first. Exhale a little further. And balance circles on both sides. Keeping your back body full to earth. Feel the power of your center. Release your mudra. Bring your hands to your thighs. Start to press your legs away. As your feet are pressing away all that's holding you back. Your heart is reaching for the sky. You lift up to this pause in boat pose. Reach your hands forward to shine out and then let your legs come wide to the earth. We'll take our Janu shape first. So right knee bends in, only as far as is appropriate for your body. Root down to rise up. Same little play of first crescent, fold, and then we'll go to our backs. Exhale, cascade over. So each breath, you can make that sound internally or out loud. Inhale up. Ow, connecting with the creative force. Mm, sustaining existing fullness of being. The, mm, the dissolving, the letting go. And that's our play today is the letting go of what holds us back from abundance and love. Inhale up. Exhale a gentle cascade forward. Unfurl your spine, gather your knees, so the right knee will stay bent, whoops, a slow reverse down to earth, left leg will go straight, so that same combination we had on the earth, open your wings, mudra if you desire, and then a circle, a few circles with your legs in this shape. So the legs are a little heavier with one extended, can we still find lightness? in our heart, belly dropping down to greet back body. Third one is the largest, circle, nice. Bend your knees back in for a hug. Inhale your head, exhale your legs away. Pause at this moment in between, that sustaining breath, and then come down to the second side, left leg bent, right leg extended, Janu second side, crescent over your extended leg. Ah, so make space for breath, crescent over the bent leg. Nice. Inhale through the midline, exhale, fold forward, offering out and that dissolving exhale. Inhale, coming back up gathering your legs, whoops, <laughs> slowly pressing hands to thighs, reverse 
down. So that slow trickle of breath descent. Same combination, your left one staying bent, right one extended, arms wide, and make this playful circle again. So we're warming up our center. We're warming up, connecting to our ability to tap in to source that middle of your being, the balance of in breath, out breath, front right, go the opposite direction. First one a little small, notice if this side is easier, harder, it's a little more weight on the second side, and a full playful circle, <laughs> belly getting nice and bright, bend knees, lift head, hands to thighs, maybe you don't even need to touch your thighs this time, you can slowly unfurl your way back up, pause and boat, tip your toes, reach both legs wide, inhale, hands. So bend your knees a little bit so the feet compress the earth, crescent to one side. Option to lift your hips, nowhere you need to go. We haven't really worn out wrists, but just a nice way to get a fuller side reach. Exhale, hands, hips down. In breath out, power, sustaining, creative, sustaining, and dissolution. So anything that holds you back, we dissolve with the breath, second side, crescent reach, hips lifted, exhale onto that shoulder as you come down, any shoulder injury to keep them tucked in. Lower your legs, reach your hands, just cascade forward over your extended legs, that's wide angle pose. Sweep yourself to one of your legs, hand to foot, draw your spine long. Sweep yourself to the opposite leg. We often do this standing where we bend one knee to grab the foot to lengthen the back body. Universal side of self being awakened. Come back through center. Nice. Bring your legs to the midline, to center. Inhale, root down to rise up, fold forward. The spine will round, your hamstrings are not yet truly awakened, so make any movements with your spine that your body desires to fold a little deeper. Unfurl your way up all the way to your back. So we stay in this curl shape. The hands press the legs away. The belly drops in, mid back, upper back, arms wide, lift legs. Soften gaze downward, inward to your heart. And now both legs long, circle your limbs. One, reaching a little longer, feet flexed, drawing the energy from your feet into your pelvis. And your pelvis up to your heart. Breath in from the crown down to heart. Third one, a little larger. If you topple, that's okay. We're exploring where we can go. Second direction, first a little smaller. Stirring the energy, stirring the pot, stirring up our realm of possibilities. A little larger, Woo. nice. All the way up, arms overhead. I like to hook thumbs, hook big toes, slowly lower your legs all the way down. Long extended spine, back body remaining connected to earth, that power source, mm, Pasha Mama. Inhale, lift your arms, lift your head. Exhale, maybe grab your mat or your thigh er, to finish this unfurl all the way up. Ah. And just for a moment, just check in, come to Sukhasana, hands to knees. Breathe, tail to crown, and just circle your spine. So remember to play, to explore, to breathe in and out evenly as we give and receive evenly, to tap in to Lakshmi, and then opposite direction, abundance, clarity, radiance, 
paw and you find those little areas that catch and <laughs> take an extra breath there, honor that journey within. Let me term that has been floating around my laptop this week is spiritual bypassing where we just say the words and don't breathe, do the action. So when your body glitches or talks to you, that's the action that we desire to tap more into. A few dog tilts, lift your heart, look up, exhale, round your spine, dive in, let the breath flow, two more, breath movements, inhale, exhale, fast or slow, if you recall, notice the fluidity of your spine after where we've what we've already achieved. Nice, and then come back to neutral. Press hands to knees so we connect to center. Spin your legs around and find on all fours. Nice, so we're tipping our world into a different angle. Still connecting to that cosmic order, that balance of breath, that balance of heart and mind, press your hands, hug hands and knees, round your spine. Ooh, so we've already been here. This should just feel good. Exhale completely, even shake your head. Inhale, keep the belly in, hug hands and knees. Look forward, curl your toes. As you go back, don't quite go to cat arch. Energetically feel the cat arch, but instead hover your knees off the earth. We did this prep last week. Press left hand, right foot as you press. Feel how it zippers across your body. Reach right arm, left leg. Oh. Inhale down. Exhale, opposite side. You can make that loud sound with your breath of the whooshing. Feel like a steam train. Kind of exhale. Two more. We're just taking turns here. Oh, there we go. Last one. Oh, nice. Land your knees. Kickstand your right foot so your back leg just turns to the side. Press your right hand and just float your hips so you just turn your body to the side plane. Left arm crescent, right arm reaching away. Inhale here, then exhale. Lift the leg, lift the arm. So we find more space. Nice. Inhale to lower again. Then we'll add another movement on. Exhale, lift, and then bend the knee and the elbow forward to press into one another. So you just press the elbow to the knee just to connect to center, to source. Inhale, open. Nice. Exhale, lower. So two more times. Lift, in breath, exhale, bend. Press, inhale, open, so expansion and contraction. Exhale, down, last one, inhale, lift, pause, exhale, contract, hugging in, inhale, reaching out into the lift, exhale, down and back to all fours, cat arch, hug in, curl toes, exhale completely. Inhale, look forward, hover your knees. Go for a walk again. Exhale, arm and leg. Your body will tell you which side to go. Notice if you lose your back body on the opposite side. Woo! Exhale out. Inhale to close. Exhale out. We're doing the exhale out so that the belly can hug in. If the breath, if your body just wants to do the opposite breath, that's yours to take as long as we are breathing. Two more walks. You are going somewhere, <laughs> even though you're staying in place. <laughs> Come on down. Kickstand the opposite leg out to the side. Sweep your body over. I'll just do a swivel so I can still see you guys. Inhale, arm over heart. Nice. Exhale, lift arm and leg. You can feel this cutting in on the outside edge of your hip. Glutes, low belly, heart. Nice. Inhale to lower. Fill this entire space with your breath. That's that, that's that creative force. Breathing it in. Exhale to lift. And then next time we'll add that next action. So reach your body long. Lift. 
and fold and press. <sighs> Inhale to open. Exhale to lower. So we've added another breath in here. Inhale to lift. Exhale to press. <sighs> Curling in. Creative force. Reaching out. Sustaining force. Lowering. Dissolution. Letting go. Last one. Create. Inhale. Sustain. Exhale. Release. And let it go. Unfurl back to all fours. Take a cat arch. Round your spine. A dog tilt. Heart forward. I'm just going to switch around because <laughs> I have it all planned on one side of my mat. Curl your toes under as we did. Hips back toward your heels and lift your knees. So we now stay as low as you can to the earth with your heart as you slowly blossom, unfurl, lift your hips, reach your heels down, Adho Mukha. So just find your way to a dog pose. Good, pedal it out in dog for a few breaths. Find a sense of space. You can move your hips a little left and right. Mm, just some sense of play. Good. Right leg lifts, one-legged dog. Notice if your left belly dropped in. Keep it buoyant and bright. That's that sustaining, that creative in-breath. Nice. Bend your top knee first so your hamstring engages, your back body engages. Keep your heel close to your hips as you curl in and your knee comes toward the same elbow. Fingertips are clawing, hands are pressing, back body puff. Inhale. Lift the leg up. You can float your hip a little higher, almost like a wild dog. That's the in-breath. Exhale, tippy-toe. Curl in, knee to nose. <sighs> Let go of every remnant of that old breath of what might be holding you back. Inhale, back to wild shape. That's the counter pose. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow, all the way across your body, like you're reaching for something you can't quite connect to. Lift up, we'll come back to that same elbow and we'll thread our leg through. So exhale, knee to opposite elbow, reach your foot all the way through. Nice. Lower your back heel down. So really honor your right hand. Fingertips, knuckles, wrist crease a little bit light. Feel like you're turning a doorknob to open it with your right hand. Let that open your heart. Spin onto the back foot. Spin onto the front foot. Keep your hips hiked high. This is the same shape we did. Hand reaching down, hips high. Engage your light, your brightness. This is our star pose. <laughs> Starfish, star pose. Exhale, unfurl down. The leg stays extended to the side. We simply lower our hips to the earth. Walk your elbows forward so you land and Sphinx with your back leg long, your front leg out to the side. Open first like a clam. Open your left arm, then we'll thread it under. It's a deep twist, so any amount. Thread your left arm under your right. Walk it through. This is a lot on the shoulder, so honor any sensations and pause where it gets interesting. If there's a lot on your hips, just stay where you are at or slowly. Oh, with each dissolving exhale, maybe land a little further on the outside of that upper arm. A huge twist from sacrum to crown. Let it go. Be released. And a new breath, a new day, new light. Unfurl arm. Whew. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, both palms down. We'll come out the way we came in. So stuck, stuck on my hands. <laughs> so float your hips, sweep your leg in to the midline, exhale, reach it to the sky, sky high, as if someone grabbed your foot and is pulling, pulling it to the heavens, your back body gets light, standing, it's almost like a standing split, level hips, lower your foot, press forward to plank, your choice how you come down. I would shrug shoulders and drag your heart way across the roof so we land in cobra. 
We kind of floated through Chaturanga right to Cobra. And then we'll go back the same way. Lift hips, level your heart. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Second side, left leg and breath up. Exhale, bend your knee first so the back body is engaged. And then we just go for right. We just push with our toes. Push forward with your toes and let your knee come to visit your elbow. Same elbow. Inhale to lift. Creative breath. Bend the knee. Exhale, knee to nose. <sighs> Dissolution, releasing what you're holding on to. You can keep the knee bent, wild dog. Knee to opposite elbow, fingertips claw, knuckles press, heart reaching across the room. Huge twist. Inhale back up. And then we'll tap to the same elbow and thread the star. So knee to elbow, foot goes through, land on the heel of the back foot, press your hips to the heavens first. Then simply, like you're lifting that veil, I love that analogy, to look upward. Huge fascial awakening to the front body. Three part in breath as you root to reach. Exhale to close, hips all the way down. So again, honor whatever's going on with your hips. If you don't want to land, just stay upright. Bend your left elbow, reach your right arm. Use the breath on this journey. Lakshmi releasing, releasing whatever's holding you back. Breathing into the back body, that creative power. Exhale, softening down any amount of the twist that works for you. Bringing out our bodies of old. Oh, harder to breathe here. <laughs> nice. Inhale to unfurl. Ah, just checking in. Hands back under shoulders. Hips float. Leg sweeps back, back to your belly. So knees if you desire, so you can keep coming forward. Or pause, chaturanga for an exhale. Lower your belly and lift your heart for an inhale. A little cobra breath. We'll awaken our back body with a little play here. So if you could crawl fingers forward. This eye shape, opposite arm and leg as we did go for a walk, one two, all four, Whee! and down. Go a little wider with your arms to a Y, a little wider with your legs. Reach the opposites up. A little different line of energy. Inhale, all four, like we're floating. <laughs> Not a starfish kind of act. You can play here, and down. Arms wide, float and lift. Once, twice, Third one, option to bind. You can reach your hands back, either grab your legs, bind your fingers, lift your heart, lower your legs if it's going into your low back, chin a little bit to chest, three part in breath, and then slowly, oh, just land everything. Turn your head to one side, release the bind. Bring your arms back, or rock your hips in gratitude, and thread your arms under elbows. Curl toes, lift heart, press to plank. One more little play, then we take a little pause. Feet wide to the edges of your mat. Press left hand so your right hand can float and it can tap you on your opposite shoulder. <sighs> Inhale, press that hand down. Exhale, opposite hand. Two more times. Option to lift the opposite leg. Know where you have to go. Kind of like we did on all fours. And exhale. And inhale down. And exhale. Loving pat on your back. With, woo, <laughs> and then bend your knees. Child pose, long spine. <sighs> Drop in. Unfurl your hands back in. Toes can either remain curled, so a little toe stretch, or you could sit on a block or just uncurl them and be kneeling if your knees are happy to be there. Sometimes it's nice to have toes curled and 
the block <laughs> for a little assist. Nice. Take your mudra, first finger in, thumb to second and third. Abaya, your heart mudra, reach up so we make this offering. This connection, bring your hands down, open your fingers, land your fingers on your forehead in the middle. So it's a little energetic play called triple warmer. And then sweep your fingers over your eyebrows, opening your forehead with your fingers, like you're creating a crevice and you're expanding the space within your cranium. Come down over your temples. And then as if you're tucking your hair behind your ears, sweep your fingertips firmly on your scalp, behind your ears, down your neck, and let your fingers land on those deltoids, those levator muscles. Take a little squeeze of your muscles. Nice. And then let it, let your hands come all the way down. Flick your fingers to shake it off. Two more times, this little triple warmer play while our toes are stretched. If it's too much on your toes, uncurl middle of your forehead, open the book, drip dip down to your ears, reach behind the ears, down your neck, that scalene, the CM, fingers onto your traps, your levator, a little loving squeeze in, and then off. Last one, inhale up, exhale, to forehead, open, new doorways, new possibilities. Behind the ears, tucking away, releasing, drawing down, squeezing, honoring, loving, and shaking it off. We'll end with a few taps on the sternum, stimulating taps of energy along under your collarbone, on your collarbone, down your sternum, you can go out to the opposite shoulders, <laughs> down your arms a little bit, wherever your body takes you, this little awakening taps. I love this sensation. And if the head is still feeling congested, you can always do little finger taps here, jaw taps, sternum taps. All right, come back off your poor toes. <laughs> Give them a little kick to unfurl. We'll be coming to Standing, good, so curl your feet under, lift your legs, feet are a little bit wide on your mat, just hang forward, forward, fold. Huh. Bend one knee, bend the other knee, shake it out. So when we hold on a little less, we open our capacity for empathy, we unblock the energy, especially of the heart. Hands to big toes, slide your hands up your legs, all the way up back to Right, unfurl your wings, fingertips long, nice, crescent to one side. So that same shape we had done way, you know, on our knee on the earth, we now take standing. Press your feet, squeeze your heels to go to the opposite side. Make sure that exhale is full, that dissolving your breath. Come back to the center. As we fold forward, just sweep your hands. You're clearing the debris in your energy field. <laughs> I love this sense of ah, just letting it all go all the way down. Shake your head, hands to big toes, slide up your legs again. So we're repeating some of these actions all the way to your ribs. Flip your hands wide. Crescent first side again. We make it a little bit stronger. Arms right by ears. Make sure you're looking up, not down. Root through your feet, squeeze heels, root to rise, shoulder blades to heart, belly to meet. Exhale, opposite side. Ooh, so we're lengthening. Lower arm sweeps by the ear too. Press your feet, squeeze, root, and rise. Last time, ha! Oh, big cleansing sweeps of your hands to forward fold. Walk your feet a little bit closer together, more traditional Uttanasana. Lengthen your heart forward on the in-breath. Nice, bend your knees to find that chair shape that we take feet out of hip widths apart. Sweep your hands above 
your ears. So we drop down into our chair shape, our squat. Then bring your prayer hands, elbows to knees, so you can press, press your arms into your knees so your belly starts to lift up. Follow that action with the hands. Inhale back, Tadasana. We'll take this a little smoother, not fast is the wrong word. Follow the breath into our squat and a stand five little times. So exhale, you can stop here or you can go all the way down. Root to rise, inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Really release everything. Oh, squeeze knees in or on. Root to rise. Two more. Exhale down. Inhale up. Wherever works for you is how far you go. Belly curls in. Exhale down. Inhale up. Last one. Exhale down. Inhale up. Feet a little bit closer. Exhale, more traditional chair rather than squat. Right heel, right toe, right leg back. Hands to heaven. Yeah, so high lunge, nice. Take a little crescent play. We're always exploring something new. Exhale, hands down. And I'll move your hips in a circle. So we keep stirring up our energy stirring up our bodies to create a new sense of awareness. Hand inside foot, drop into deep lunge. You're welcome to lower your back knee if you like the lizard lunge. Walk your hands forward toward the corner of your mat and just like the lizards with their big, uh, big throats, bow in. <sighs> Once, <sighs> twice, a third time, rock back so your leg lengthens. Rock forward, thread, same hand as front foot, left hand under left leg, and look forward. So lizard, but with a wrap. Exhale, rock back, your arm and leg press together so you can't quite go so far. Keep that press, reach your heart forward. Nice. Last time, press your arm back, gaze inward. This time, as you reach forward, maybe you can float those fingers off the earth. Maybe you can float the other fingers. Maybe you can float both hands. You're gonna squeeze the knee to the midline, shoulder to knee, heart to heavens. Find some brightness, some lightness in this crazy shape. Exhale, hand down, Woo, knee down, runner's lunge. Oh, dance your hips right and left. Whatever works for you, for a little more space. Lower your foot, lift your knee, sweep that same leg up, left leg reaches sky high. Woo. Exhale, one-legged plank. Inhale, all the way down. Cobra, your choice how you arrive there. Exhale, press back, child. Tricked ya. <laughs> nice. So we have an option to do the same side, same left leg. I'm just gonna, no, I have to stay here. With the foot on a block, if you have a block, if you don't, you'll just play it on the ground. So, same leg lifted a little bit higher. Back leg floats and the heel goes down. I've got my back too so you can see arms. You're welcome if you like to throw a strap over your shoulder, but you probably, that might be a little complicated to get it there. <laughs> nice. Come to your lizard, the same as flying hand under your leg. There's a lot more room here to maneuver. And then we'll take right hand in a big circle Woo, to the heavens. This might be where you pause. Exhale, top arm to your hips. Press your hip in with your hand. Inhale, press your foot to the earth and maybe the hands can find one another. Or maybe the hands, yeah, I'm really letting the straps a little tricky, <laughs> can find the strap. Just, or your hand stays on the earth and you spin your heart break. One way to play a bound, twisted shape. Inhale to release. Woo! Okay, I'm hanging myself up on the strap. Exhale to drop in. See if you can float your foot 
<laughs> back to the heavens, one-legged dog. Lower your foot down, hands to feet. Ah, and just shake it out. A little gratitude here. Now, as you come up, do the sweeping. Your gaze comes from your feet to your knees, to your belly, to your heart, to your crown. So we practice looking up our body rather than always looking down our body, which depletes our energy. Step back up and we'll go second side. First deep lunge, flying lunge, and then maybe on the block. Five squats, feet wide. Inhale to reach. Exhale to fold. So just decide where you go. I kind of, this is a nice one too, elbows. Pressing on the knees so your belly remains light and bright. Inhale to reach. Exhale to drop. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, releasing. Reaching creative energy. Exhale, dissolution. That sustaining movement is in the middle. The belly keeping you buoyant and bright no matter what. Okay, last one. Maybe that was more than five. <laughs> Go down and hold for a breath wherever you are. It could be a deep squat. It could be a light squat. <sighs> Take a moment to tap in to stillness. Even as the breath is swirling around within. Okay, we'll come all the way up. Inhale up. Feet a little closer. Exhale, chair. Right heel, sorry, left heel, left toe. Keep this leg just as it is. Simply step on back. High lunge, a little play. Find your support, your balance. Fingertips down. One breath to lengthen as we had done seated on the earth. Take your foot one footprint wider to the side. Hand inside. Lizard lunge, fingers toward the corner. Heart reaches forward, hips reach back. Each time getting a little lower. That breath letting you sneak in a little deeper. Next time you land back, thread, land back, thread your arm under your leg. Reach your heart forward so you press your arm into your leg, but you can't go as far. Try to shift your hips back, but keep your knee bent. Gaze goes inward. Exhaling. Inhale, reach forward. Maybe float the same hand that's under the leg. Maybe the opposite hand to see where you can go in this shape. In this moment, your foot is a little more to the midline for balance, pressing down firmly on the earth. Exhale, hands down. Unwrap your legs, sweep it all the way to the sky. Woo, that's the gratitude move. <laughs> Level your hips, lower to plank. Inhale, hips down, heart bright, cobra. So we're kind of just doing those soft landings. A little rock here. Legs, heart, legs, heart, keeping our breath fluid today. Legs, flex your feet. Curl toes, come back to child. That was the trick, <laughs> not back to dog. And then we'll place our foot on the block if you have it. If not, you just take the shape without the block. Foot forward to give us a little more room for our bodies. I'm not gonna mess with my crazy strap this time. So ground to grow, press the front foot, press the back toes and then spin and land the heel. So we're kind of on our side, just like we were with the kickstand, with our leg lifting and lowering. So the arm lifts over as we did in our modified side plank. The hips lower a little as the arm comes behind the sacrum. Either you repeat this side lunge action or you swim your bottom hand, your trunk like hand under your leg lean forward to bind or just to press on your sacrum and unfurl your heart so it's a bound side angle pose for any people who want names parsva <laughs> kanasana with a bind inhale to release reach for the heavens wherever you went 
It's just a deeper hip opener with the foot up. Exhale around. Take your foot off your block. Sweep it up to the heavens. A little spin of your ankle, a kick of your leg. Shake off that debris. Level your hips. Lower your foot back, your hands up toward your feet. Moving into fullness, into abundance, into the back body. The power of Lakshmi, of generosity, of heart, of clarity, of speech. So we give with our body, we give with our heart, with our minds, and slowly unfurl once again hands to shins, the back body lifts the front, and we reveal our light. Ha! Ah, sip of water time. <laughs> So our next little play, you remember to keep any props handy, a little fun, different flow. We're going <laughs> to, we'll just go there rather than tell you. So find your feet again. We will be stepping behind to a modified hip opener. So if you need a little lift to keep your hips happy, just make sure you've got a blanket or a block close by, something to support you. Inhale to reach, maybe tippy toes. Oops. <laughs> Exhale to hinge back so we're ready for chair, so we have length in our heart. Bend your knees back to chair. Lift your right knee, hand on the top. Press your hand to your knee as you lift it. So we did a lot of that to fire up our center. Then the hand slides to the outer knee. Press the hand on the outer knee. Yeah, so as you lift it out, it's like lifting our leg to the side. Keep that action going. Keep bending your bottom knee. And we're coming down, shin to earth behind your heel. Sit inside your foot if that's available for you. Twist over your knee for a little visit. Option to slide the foot a little further back for Gomukhasana as you bow in. So that's that pause, that dissolution. Good. Place this front foot back on the earth. So your leg, knee is lifted, your foot is down. Your back toes will be your press off. So either with hands or with a little in breath, we sweep up onto the knee. We lift up onto our feet. We bring the knee back forward to the press. So however you did that transition, <laughs> we were playing with them. And then cross ankle over knee, eye of needle. So this knee is resisting up, resisting out, and resisting down. So we're finding all of our power. Chair on one leg. One leg resting, one leg vibrant. <sighs> Just be here for a breath. Dissolution of what's holding you back. Inhale, lift this leg, float it in a big giant dance way behind you down to the earth. Hands to prayer. <laughs> Exhale, twist over your knee, so we're bowing in. Inhale to shine out, open your hands wide. So we did a lot of preps for this type of a shape. Exhale, hands back together. Look at your foot, fingers to earth. Swim a big circle, same hand as leg. Big lunge twist. How bright can you be? We've done these shapes for a while this morning already. I'm going to spin around just so I can see you guys. Spin one more big lunge circle with your arm. Nice. Press your left hand down, and on the next lunge circle, start to walk this front foot back. So we come back to this familiar shape of expansion, of lightness, of disillusion. Either stay here with your foot on the earth for support, or if you're feeling stable or even feeling unsafe, reach your foot to the heavens for balance. If you're here, exhale, curl in. Same power play we did. Curling inward, gazing in, creative power. Inhale, 
reaching out, sustaining force. One more time, curling in. Oh, not so easy. You can always go back to the kickstand and play number two, third one. Just be oh so light and bright. Exhale, hand down, foot down, heart forward, shrug shoulders, belly down. That was powerful. <laughs> this time bend both knees as we had done with our, and then circle them. <laughs> Coming back to playful circles. Opposite way, loosen the low back up. Maybe swing your hands forward, hands wide, then the feet come to stillness. Maybe your hands can find your feet. This is not your deepest back bend. We've been twisting more than opening, but lengthen your tailbone. Lift your heart, flex your feet, and just play. Lift one leg, lift the other leg. Maybe lift both legs. Pause for that in-breath where we create that pause where we sustain where we could be, and the out-breath, that dissolution, let go of what's holding you back, let go of the shape, let go of the feet, hands under head. <sighs> Find stillness for a moment, and then back to creating. Hands under elbows, reveal your heart, your radiance, Press the earth away. Anu Mukha dog pose. And let your hands back up to your feet. Grab one elbow with the other elbow for a counter pose. From that back bend or thread your arms around your shins, around the back through the middle to the front for a deep forward fold. Unfurl. Sweep up. Shrug shoulders, heart gaze. Mm. A little flick of the fingers, a shake of the wrists. A little spin the wrists. So if that was a lot on your wrists, honor that. You can always roll up the edge of the mat to support you. Lots of ways to find a little more balance so we can maintain the dance. So we'll take this little play second side. Feet to earth, inhale to toes, exhale to hinge, inhale to chair, right leg is going to come with press the top of the knee, press the outside of the knee as the leg goes wide so your glutes are keeping the container so we can reach that leg all the way around, slowly land on your shin. Maybe move the front foot a little bit, land on your seat. If it's too much for knees, that's why you have a block or a blanket. We don't want to overdo. There's always a modification. You always straighten the bottom leg. Inhale to reach, create. Exhale, twist over your leg. That's our sustain. Dissolution of what's holding you back. Inhale back to center, maybe grab ankle, find Gurmukhasana, your hip opener, bow in if that's available to you. Mm. Unfurl your way up, so press this front foot back on the earth. Rock up with or without your hands onto your bottom shin and your front foot. This is where we really engage our glutes, our low belly to ah, root down, to rise up. Okay, I happen to have a wall handy. Knee to heavens, suki, ankle over knee is the pause, hip opener. Ooh, hips are feeling good. Inhale, float that leg all the way back. Lunge, ha heart, hands, or diamond. Exhale, cross over your knee for a nice twist. So you're crossed over your knee to the outside, yes. Left leg forward and you're looking over, nice. Maybe even gaze up and open hands. Inhale, sweet. Exhale, 
hands down inside your foot. Just drop in that deep lunge we did. And we'll spin into a lunge twist. Right hand down, left hand lift. So you're looking at your front knee, turning your heart, turning your gaze. So you're looking at your front leg. Yep. Finish that circle all the way around. If you'd like to rock your hips in between, it's your time to unwrap. Your time to reveal, to clean house. One more lunge twist. I like to be on fingertips so I'm lighter and brighter. <sighs> Finish your spin. And we come onto our right hand, onto the right heel. Heel toe your front foot back. Either pause in this modified side plank, which will save your wrist. Back to crescent with your arm. So we have one foot forward, we're on the side of our other foot. Or slide your foot on top for a full side plank. Hips are high, heart is open, gaze is soft. Inhale, lift leg and arm. Exhale, press them together. That same little dance we did with our knee down or lower your knee to do it. So press elbow to knee, Leslie, yeah. Inhale to open, a little power play. Exhale, elbow to knee, you got it. And we're wobbling, we're sweating. We're not sure what we're doing. That sounds like life to me. <laughs> elbow to knee, open, delight. Just be here on your side, hand down, dog pose. Woo. Forward to your belly, so float through plank. Inhale, heart forward. Oh. Slowly land, forearms under your forehead, rock your hips. So we're going to keep the energy moving. Keep ourselves shifting from old to new, from holding back to giving freely, to not speaking out, to hearing our inner and outer words. Exhale, hands under elbows, lift your heart heart, use your knees, curl back and take your mat with you, <laughs> a half, and if you're on the grass, you'll just have fun. <laughs> take your blanket, fold it where there is now space, check in with your wrists, check in with where you are at for weight bearing. We'll do our wrist stretch before and after. So where are my knuckles go together like you're punching yourself. <laughs> Punch your knuckles together, place them down on the ground, and then slowly straighten your arms once. Straighten your arms, keep the fingers curled in. Almost like your Hadaya Mudra, that energetic seal of unconditional love for all your sensations, flowing compassion, Blessings, energy, and release. Shake it up. So that was our counter pose for us. We're simply going to place hands on the earth, toes on the mat, hobby your knees. So we're back where we were at the beginning. Inhale, slide legs away. This time we just pike up, legs stay straight. Slide your feet in as far as you can. So your hips go sky high. Exhaling. Inhale like plank, so we explored a lot of plank. You can always play, lifting a foot. Am I in my powerhouse? Exhale, am I in my center? Curling feet in, ears between upper arm bones. Last one, inhale, hips back. Heart quite far forward. Exhale, curl in, maybe lift one leg. Whee, feel like you're gonna fall over, that's right. <laughs> Okay, I lie, inhale back, exhale, feet in, lift the opposite leg. Woo, the world looks different from down here. Foot to earth, unfurl your way back up. And yes, you can guess that we're gonna take this to the wall. Oh, sweaty in here. So you do not need your blanket. If you have no wall, you get to truly play. <laughs> so you have your option of the L at the wall, which is really our training ground. 
Leslie moves her picture. Everyone takes their preps, all fours. If this is too much, you can always just do flying splits. So you're a little bit closer, one leg, one up, one leg down, big hamstring opener. Um, if you're feeling a little uncertain, your hands go a handprint forward for a little more room. I think you'll be surprised that we've done so much uh, heat work that you will be light and bright. Claw fingertips, press earth away, cat arch. Lift your hips, short bent knee, dog. Ears between your arm bones, looking toward the wall. <sighs> Exhale completely, belly to spine. So your fingertips claw, your wrist creases. Try to stay light and the eyes and the elbows are looking at one another. Take your right foot right behind your hip. Not too high, not too low, just behind your hip. And try to drag the foot. Try to turn the energy of dragging the foot down the wall. Be what lifts your other hip. Feels really weird to have your hips, heart over your hips over your heart. Swing the other leg straight up so it does not go to the wall today, if possible. Your play, lower this leg that was lifted, bend the foot on the wall, maybe tap the earth and go back up. Woo, I know everything wants to come down. Fingertips clawing hugely. And then slowly the swing leg comes down. The foot on the wall comes down, the knees come down, hands reach forward, spider fingers, child pose. <sighs> Notice the breath, the creation, the sustaining, and the dissolution of fear of holding back and unfurl, we'll check in and go to the second leg. How's the next? You can do a few shoulder shrugs. You can take your, do your same wrist stretch in between knuckles together like a little punch. Forearms down, three little straightening and bending of the elbows. Hold the last one as you let those tendons go. Open the palms, oh, shake it out. So if you're outside mat, you're just lifting and lowering the leg and maybe hopping, taking a little baby hop with the bottom leg. Yes! <laughs> so we have one more side to explore. Hands. So I'll try to go a little, talk a little faster. <laughs> so if you felt like you were going to fall over, you could move your hands a little further away. Hug in for that creative power. Lift up. Sustaining power, left foot behind, sit bone, pull down. As that leg straightens, you swing the other leg straight up. Exhale, keep the swing leg straight, just miss the wall. Slide it past the wall, bend the leg of the foot on the wall, tap the earth, swing back up again. Or if you're playing outside, you're hopping right now. And then slowly, foot down, one, opposite foot down. Knees are welcome to come down. Long child, shake your head. Left, right, yes, no. Unfurl up. Shrug your shoulders. Ah, a few times of gratitude. So I hope you had some sort of a play. I'm going to throw in an offering in our last little exploration of maybe kicking up before we start to find stillness. That was strong and powerful today. <laughs> So Tadasana, this time we'll be facing our wall. Last little play. Kind of imagine one of your legs. This time we'll just be leaning forward so the fingertips can press the wall. Fingertips on the wall, just for like a hinge of your hips. So once you've found that place, root down. To rise up, we reach to offer out. So every time you reach, it's the, the envisioning, the hridaya, that unconditional love mudra. Exhale, fingers to the wall. Now our hands do what our foot did. You try to drag your hands down. You feel your belly lift up, and then your leg lifts, left leg lifts. So we're in the same shape in a different plane. We find our power, bend your knees, slide your hands down. Straighten your legs, slide your hands up. We call this the elevator. 
maybe another time. Bend, straighten, third one. Bend, straighten. Exhale, bend hands to earth. This time as you straighten into the revolve triangle, right hand opens, this is kind of optional. So you're doing the twist, the play that we've practiced for so beautifully today. Your gaze is to your right, your right leg is down, your right arm is lifted. Nice. Right hand comes down. Either go to Uttanasana, both feet on the earth, or this is your chance to kick. <laughs> maybe Leslie once, twice, and maybe there's a hop. Whoop. A hand flip forward, you find that L shape upside down. <laughs> and then come down, feet together, forward fold. <sighs> Shake it out and sweep your arms left and right, come up, clear way clear the debris wherever your play went that was a little <laughs> thrown in lots of things there from our fold leg lifted as warrior three revolved half moon that we did last week with our foot on the wall throwing that in for just a little repeat and then the option to see what happens okay we'll do our neck opener right after this second side <laughs> if the neck's kind of working we need to find more of our sustaining power. Root down to rise up, reach unconditional love. Exhale, fingers forward to the wall. Fingers try to slide down so your belly lifts and that enables you to take your right leg back without hinging and collapsing. Then we explore that hinge and movement. Maybe I can bend and straighten this leg. Feel the power in your hips. The softness in your heart, creative creativity and abundance. Hands go down, and then we come to our twist. I'm just going to get a block to show you. You could always have the block under this hand. Right leg is up. Left arm is going to circle back to the wall. Lift your low belly. <laughs> Revolved half moon. Not an easy place to be. Everything wants to collapse to the earth but we're inviting ourselves to be bright no matter what, to be abundant no matter what, to reach out and shine no matter what. Sweet, wherever you went with that one, hands to the earth. Either take a standing split and then back to Uttanasana. Your hands should be about two handprints from the wall if we measured it right. Lower your leg, tippy toe, bottom foot, so we play this Hinge and swing once, just like the elevator, twice, and then maybe hinge and swing and a little hop. Maybe you can find this little play, arms long, pause or not, somewhere in between, and slowly, ha, oh, back to Mother Earth. Shake your head out, rock your hips, hmm, and furl your way up. The good news is the hard work is done. Big shoulder shrug. Interlace your hands behind. Exhale, arm moves on. Nice, just bend and lengthen. Bend and lengthen. As the breath softens, keep your arm bones lengthened. Let your neck tip to one side. Oh yeah. So my hands kind of landed on my sacrum so I can press into my body to lift up. Wiggle your chin, inhale, unplug. Change the angle of your head. Chin a little forward, arms back. Chin a little back, a little. And then opposite side. So it's very important if we over effort to find, figure out where we are over efforting. Can we shed that layer? Back and chin, and just see if you felt a little more freedom. We'll come through a squat to our seat, have a block or a roll blanket, something close by. <laughs> Inhale, hands. Exhale, chair. Squat all the way down, use your hands if that helps, have your block. We'll be doing happy baby and quad stretch on our back. Time to 
Check back in, hands to thigh. Slowly unfurl. We'll probably just do this part from listening more than watching as we just honor where we are in our bodies and land. Let your knees rest on one another for a moment. Fill your back body with breath. Exhale, eyes, gaze, drifts downward, inward to your low belly. Nice. Find that central point in your pelvis. Bring your feet a little bit closer and press, place the block under your sacrum or a rolled blanket, something firm is better. Right leg comes to half happy baby, so I have to move my block a little higher to keep my pelvis level. You can hold your shin or your foot. Then as you slowly exhale, slide your left heel along the earth away from you. One leg is bent, one leg is lengthened. Arm can be out to the side. You can take your, uh, by your unconditional love mood or that offering to yourself. Hollow the extended foot just off the earth. Take a full breath in. Exhale, maybe draw that knee a little deeper to your armpit. Reach your heel a little further away and soften in a little more completely. That disillusion, dissolution, not a dissolution, of holding on, of holding back, of not acting or speaking out. Inhale, bring the extended leg in. Switch sides. Happy baby left. Right foot to the earth. Find your shape. One hip will be really different to the other. And then slowly reach your right foot along the earth. The heel slides away. Full breath in. Pelvis to heart, heart to crown, the three energy centers. Even press the base of your skull into the earth, pelvis into the block. Hover the heel off the earth, point the toe, maybe a Baya Mudra in your hand. Offer yourself that unconditional love and appreciation. Dissolve all the barriers, all that holds you back in between. And then inhale, bring your legs back in. Whew. That's a lot. Lower your feet to the earth. So this time we come up on our elbows. Last play, quad stretch. Bring that, we have to roll a little to the side. Left leg, back toes uncurled. So your quad, you might get cramp in your foot. Just, just be aware. <laughs> foot back, knee is reaching away from you and down to the earth. So it's engaged and reaching. If, if it works for you, you can lower your body back to the earth, but that gives me cramp in my foot, so not happening today. <laughs> the play of the quad that works so hard to support you being lengthened away and down. Maybe this time it works. You can hold your mat, pull the mat wider in your hands, really reach your leg long, so as everything on the front body that holds us back and be greeted with breath. Full three-part in-breath, loving kindness, and then exhale, unfurl your leg, lengthen it out, enjoy the heat. It's just easy to get into it from up on your elbows. Second side, draw your right leg back to hero pose, virasana, half virasana, one leg back, Toes uncurled, yep, and then slowly lower, if at all available to you. You can lengthen the other leg too, so you're truly in half hero pose. Let that right knee reach way across the room and down. So powerful for the attachments around the knees, the attachments around the hip, the psoas muscle, the fascia, the web, life. <laughs> One side so different to the other. Okay, that was just to keep you there a little longer. Gratitude for all those sensations. Bend your lengthened leg. Press up with your elbows. Release your quad. Come down to your hips. 
and we'll find our way on to our backs. Long spine. If there's any other twist or anything your body wishes to do, it's yours to take. Press the base of your skull. Slide your elbows to floating ribs. Take your Arvaya Mudra, first finger in, thumb to middle and ring, little finger extended, extend your legs. So offer out and breathe in, unconditional love, lightness, clarity, and exhale. That final dissolution of what you might have stayed wrapped up in a little too long. Three breaths. Low belly, mid chest, upper chest, pause, soften, let go, upper, mid, lower. One more slow trickle like that. Keep that slow ujjayi in breath and out breath, that sound of the wave. Floating in and out, conscious awareness to breath while the body is released. Remain in this soft pattern as long as you desire. Simply receiving the press of the earth and the fullness of breath.